everybody, it's the old sports editor Ronnie Gallagher and I'm standing here with my main man Mike London and we're here to roam the county once again sponsored by Sundrop. We're here with our with our best friends, Sundrop right here. Now last week Mike we had three winners, West, Carson and Salisbury yeah. and now this week is the biggest game of the year so far in the third week. Salisbury goes over to Carson. Now, now last year they beat them pretty bad but how do you feel about this year? Ronnie, like you said, it's our first uh, game of the year. We'll have many games of the year this year before the year's over. But this is a huge game with two 2-0 and teams. And uh, uh, you're right, uh, Salisbury smashed Carson pretty good here at Ludwig Stadium last year where we are today. But uh, uh, Carson's awfully good this year. I mean, they're great. Uh, they're very impressive up front, offensive line and defensive line. Of course, Salisbury's got great team speed. Romar Morris, it's a, it's a great matchup. And I'm looking forward to that game on Friday night. All right, well, we're over here at Salisbury High School, and we're going to be interviewing Joe Pinion, the head coach, and tight end Riley Gallagher, and not because his last name is Gallagher, because he deserves it. So, so let's go find the boys and, and talk about this week. Okay. Now, I'm a... okay, I'm standing here with Salisbury coach Joe Pinion. We, we, we have our sun drops. We can't, can't do anything without a sun drop. Now, uh, Joe, you know, you're 2 0, which everybody expected that. But th this week, you're playing against Carson. And they're a, they're a pretty good team. I won't go back to that. Everybody expected that part because I wasn't real <laughs> sure that we expected that. I mean, we're, we're still a young bunch on defense and, and very, very explosive on offense. But we didn't know if we could be 2-0 and after two oh. weeks because we felt like we were playing some quality teams. But this bunch we got this week, Carson, is very, very physical. And, a very, and they're, they're on a strong upbeat right now with two big wins. I mean, demoralized North throw in the other night and, you know, the film we saw is enough to scare somebody. Right. I haven't slept well since I've seen it. So, you know, we, we do know we're playing a good football team. And you know what? The, one of the key figures to the Hornets is uh, tight end Riley Gallagher. And uh, they say he's, he's too slow. He, he can't catch. And, uh, but, and the wishbone won't throw to him. But yet he's got 17 career catches. He's got 12 touchdowns. How does that happen? He is slow. <laughs> now he he's he's deceptively quick I and mean, let's put it that way and and the thing about Riley is he can catch he got great hands mm -hmm. and he has a knack for finding the open areas on the field yeah I, I like to, to make this correction to a lot of people he is not my son although everybody says hey your son played great and I said my son's on JV at Wales still no he caught some touchdowns though that's the other Gallagher family in town he might be a little faster than you Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> well I hope so 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 right now let's go over to Mike London who, who's got Riley Gallagher and let's talk to the tight end. Riley, have a sun drop. <laughs> Let me introduce this guy to the defensive backs of Rowan County. You can't seem to find him. <laughs> Tall white guy, number four, red jersey. Can't miss him. Somehow he gets open every week, week after week for touchdowns. Riley, what, what's your explanation for how this is happening? I mean, the way that I see that I get open is because we have such explosive backs and Romar and Dominique. And Tyler Downs, our fullback, is stepping in very well, like better than most coaches and players expected. And we also have an explosive quarterback with John Knox. Everybody knows it's his talent. So all the backfields, all the defensive backs are worried about them. Opens up opportunities for me. And still, it's uh, two games this year, three touchdowns, and. Uh... I, I was sure they'd cover you this year after <laughs> after nine touchdowns last year. It seems to be happening all over again, uh, and it looks like another big year for Riley Gallagher. Riley, t what's what's the best catch of your career? I remember the one you had at Thomasville last year, but it may be another one that sticks out in your mind. What's the what's the one that sticks out for you? Um, probably the Carson one from last year. I mean, we were already up pretty big against them, but it was probably the best catch because. There was a safety on my back, and John Perf placed it perfectly like he always does. He has a great arm and a great accuracy. And I caught it with him on that, and then made him miss, and then just ran in for a touchdown. Just another Riley Gallagher touchdown. Riley, uh, Carson defensive backs, here he is. <laughs> Don't lose track of this guy Friday, or you'll be in trouble. Riley Gallagher off to a off all-county kind of season here in the early going for the Salisbury Hornets. All right, so that's another week of Rome in the County for Joe Pinion, Raleigh Gallagher, my main man, Mike London, and our cardboard Charlie right here, who we always have with us. It's another week, and it's, 
at Salisbury at Carson this week. It's a great game. There's a lot of good games in the county, so go watch one. You, you won't regret it. It's a good time had by all. So, boys, let, let's all drink up.